All right, so Kevin, just first impressions from the scrimmage that you had against the U19 team on Saturday. Um, I thought we did uh, pretty well. We the, the second part of the scrimmage was our best part. Uh, we were able to press together more than we were in the first part. I think the, the first 20 minutes were, we were a little bit scattered when we would press, so we would get it right. But overall, I mean, I think we did well. We, uh, we got three goals. Uh, we were able to get those goals because we were just playing in the system. Uh, like Scott says, if you play in the system and you just connect the passes, the, the game will show itself and it'll show you what passes you need to make. And you can see that in the three goals that we scored. How is the system? How has the adjustment been for you and the team with the new coaching staff? Um, it's been good. I think we're all learning uh, pretty quickly. The, the, film, the film sessions always help. Uh, we had one the day before the scrimmage, so we got an idea of how we should press. And we also worked on it before. So um, I think so far it's coming along well. Uh, the coaching staff has definitely been helpful in explaining and everything. It's definitely new for me because I, I come from a system in college that we would sit a lot, you know. So uh, learning to press in different ways is definitely different for me. But um, I think with the, the help of Scott and Rob and, and the teammates, I think it's been going pretty well. Can you talk about your experience at the tryout and just your time after you left Kentucky, uh, what your goals were there, and, uh, how, how that tryout went for you? Obviously, you signed a contract. So. Yeah, so I obviously it went uh, a little bit well. Yeah. Um, it was it was good. I I trained for it a lot uh, after our season finished. I didn't take too many, too many days off after the season because I knew tryouts and combines were coming up. Um, but like during the... I had, I had a goal. I had a couple of assists, so you know I felt I felt good going into it. Uh, I think the worst part of it is always the waiting to see like, oh, did you make it or not? So that was that was the toughest part of it. But other than that, like the transition, kids coming from college, there's always a learning curve. The game is a lot quicker. You have to be a lot sharper. The little details matter more. Stuff you got away with college, you won't get away with uh, at the pro level. So adjusting to that is always going to be a little bit different. Um, but like I said, the coaching staff and the teammates have definitely made it uh, an easier transition for me. Was the timing kind of interesting for you with your senior year last year and then this franchise is sort of just starting up and it's in your hometown? Yeah, I mean, I actually saw that they were making a USL team on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, wow, that would that would actually be great in the hometown and everything. Ever since Atlanta United started, it, it, it always kind of, like I always saw it as like an opportunity maybe to come back home and play. And so the fact that that was able to become a reality was, was amazing. And after like my senior like soccer season, I knew that uh, professional soccer is what I wanted to do. And I was going to try um, as much as I could. So um, for now, just taking, taking that last semester off of, off of school, I'll go back and finish at some point. Uh, school is definitely, definitely important, um, but right now, it just it made sense for me and my dreams to, to come play. Can you talk about your relationship with is it Tony Anna? Tony Anna? Was, was he your coach at uh, with Georgia United and your his role here? And how that kind of maybe connected you guys here? Yeah, so he was my coach for, for Georgia United. I was uh, I was on his team for two years, U16 and U18. And ever since uh, ever since he became my coach, I think we just really connected. Um, he really taught me be the player that I am now like before my like level of play was not as as high as it needed to be and he really like cracked like so sort of, like cracked the code to, yeah. to get me to, to the next level thinking um, so honestly I owe, I owe a lot to him uh, for how he's made me into a player and he's the one who told me to come to the trial because uh, I told him I was like hey we, we kept in touch like throughout college and everything he was like, hey, you should come, come try out because you know I wanted to play. And I was like, whatever you say, I'm going to do. So I came and uh, thankfully it worked out. Is, have you been trying to maybe help transplants here, just being a guy that's familiar with the area? Is there anything you can do to kind of get guys on their feet here early? Um, I, think, I think for the people like coming out of town, uh, like we have a couple of kids from like Argentina, I know what it feels like to come from a like different country and kind of get adapted. So I try to, I try to help them and like speak to them and see if they need anything. Um, we have a goalkeeper from France who's staying at a hotel, um, and a friend of mine I used to play with Leland uh, right now. And we, uh, 
like I'll go pick them up and like bring them to training and stuff. I'll talk to the guys in like the locker room who like don't really speak English. Uh, thankfully, I speak Spanish, so that way they just feel more comfortable. You know, I think coming from a different country, if you have someone speaking like your own language, you feel a little bit more comfortable. So that's right now really the only way I can help. But I definitely try to since uh, I know the area before practice that. Uh, the guys were like, when are you going to take us out to, to see the town? And I'm like, this next time we have a day off, I'll definitely take you guys to see, see Atlanta. Okay. Who's your coach at Mount Perry? Uh, coach Perry. Do you keep in contact with him? Um, not as much. He moved down to Florida. Okay. Um, but he was, a, he was a really good guy going to a Christian school. It, it, it was definitely nice having like, uh, spiritual mentors as well. Uh, keep connected with like God and people kind of he, he studied like the Bible a lot and stuff so whenever I had questions like I remember when I was in high school it was easy for me to just go to him and ask him questions for that and ask for advice definitely going from a Christian high school to a uh, college campus is always uh, a big change um, but I thought they prepared me pretty well for it uh, he did text me though and congratulated me and everything uh, but yeah really good guy thankful that he was in my life Kevin, if you can move just a, a little up there, you go. Just tell me about how much did you keep an eye on this team, you know, when it was being formed and just this whole thing, kind of from a distance when you, you saw this coming? Uh, yeah, I remember when they first signed Andrew Carlton as the first homegrown. I remember seeing him try out for Georgia United. Uh, Tony actually told me, he was like, hey, you got to come see this kid. And I remember seeing him at the tryout, just next level. Uh, also, I got to see Gosselin and and Patrick and Lagos. Like we all played together at Georgia United. Well, not Lagos, but I actually played against them in high school. Um, so you know, I always kept an eye on it, see how they're doing. I saw they went to playoffs. Um, some of my friends played in the Columbus Crew Academy. So when they lost in the playoffs, it was a bit disappointing, um, especially because I had the teammates who were always giving me crap for it. But I mean, yeah, definitely always followed them from afar, seeing how they were doing, seeing how the club was growing. I just always remember seeing like who got appointed what and like when Tony got appointed as academy director, texted him, congratulating him because definitely deserved it and as we can see uh, on the U16 academy won the national championship, it took him one year to take him there. That's how, uh, the kind of coach that he is. How much will this program be beneficial to players like yourself and just kind of maybe groom you for that next level? Very beneficial. Um, just being here with the facilities, the, the staff, the coaching, it's completely different from anywhere else I think you know you have guys with so much experience you have Tony with the academy kids doing a great job you've seen all like so many players going up to the, the pro level I think uh, Zion Zion Jones or Zion um, I just saw that he signed in Germany um, so you see that the level of coaching uh, everything that they provide here it's it's top level stuff, so it's going to prepare you for the absolute best. Does it give you to watch these guys that have been doing this and that are at that highest level? Does that give you an opportunity to watch and learn and ask questions? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the other day when we came uh, with the scrimmage and we scrimmaged with the first team, you know, it's always great to see like how they play, uh, the little things that they do. Uh, you, you watch them and you learn. I mean, that's that really is how you can do a lot of learning in soccer is just by watching soccer, uh, watching next level guys. Uh, before I could only watch it on TV, and now I get to see see them in person. So I see them train, and it definitely it definitely helps me uh, learn new things and to improve my game as well. Did you ever think? My last question for you: Did you ever think that professional soccer would come to Atlanta at this level, and to be possibly a part of this team in your hometown? I guess maybe you kind of wrote a better script, or possibly a better script. Yeah, um, I always I always thought there should be. I was never sure if it would actually happen. This city has been craving soccer for years. Ever since I was little, I can see it. Um, so many kids get involved with soccer, uh, people in high school and in, in colleges all around, you know, with the national team, uh, watching them. And you just, you see how the city has grown just from being here, just the Atlanta team being here. So many people, everywhere I go, I see Atlanta United Stickers. Um, but yeah, for me, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been a, a dream come true, you know. There's nothing like coming back and representing your hometown. So it's really exciting.